<laughs> anyway, enough about <laughs> enough about history. Yeah. I do believe we have a story of our own to make. And yeah, so I'm alternate history instead. Indeed. The year is 1996. The PlayStation is out. 1995? Yeah. No, we, we, we moved a year. We went it's, up to 96. It is the year 1996. The PlayStation is about to come out. And our brave adventurers have traveled to PDX 997. What? Well, I don't remember. <laughs> well, I thought it was nine nine four. Uh, Stargate one. Where's the Stargate one? <laughs> Either way, so out. many no tape, no keep the world letters. known as the Hedge World. Nine nine five. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Just keep throwing different five. letter and number combinations. Um. Let's see if they he just banter mode is over. All right. Banter mode. The X is Portland. Thank you, Froggy. <laughs> PDX nine nine seven is a zip code, dude. P PDX, that's just par. That's a paradox reference. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> where's my pencil? That's hmm. paradox interactive. Your reference yes. in there, and that is what oh, that's I suggested paradoxical. before we got what? on on paradoxical. Is that we All right. stuff okay. JL in the ski box and and take out the other one. He didn't so, like that very much when I said the other one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, it turns out I'm completely replaced. So, it. here's the thing. Last session, you guys decided that it is not worth it to sacrifice a virgin to a dragon, even if it's jail. Allegedly virgin jail. Can I have a knife? <laughs> and so, you decided to decided to <clears throat> replace the local virgin with alleged virgin jail and uh, she got tied up in a tree but got loose pretty soon and when the uh, when the soldiers of Ra came to pick her up you decided to kill them all and, and take their gear and take their gear and you return to the village and to be received as heroes, and they are throwing you a feast while the sick and wounded of you, uh, those sick of the local uh, local malaria sort of thingy, are being taken care of by being taken care by the local healer. Among those is JL and MacDonald. However, MacDonald has quickly recovered and is fully functional, while JL in her exhaustion, has lost consciousness and is unable to rouse. <laughs> the night is merry, there is singing, there is drinking, there is eating, lots of vegetables, but uh, a single cow has been butchered for your entertainment and to be uh, oh, fried. We are very moved by oh, that. Oh, that's bad. Bad. <laughs> Uh, no, no, that would not be a sheep. A, that would be a sheep, yeah. I know. But yeah, uh, but it's there, there is slaughter. plenty of turnips, onions, garlic, you know, a few carrots here and there. The usual, usual assortment of, of cabbage in various types. There's cabbage, there is broccoli, there is partial sprouts, you know, all these variants of cabbage. And uh, Broccoli and Brussels sprouts. Okay. Broccoli isn't cabbage, but isn't like, no. I'm pretty sure Broccoli looks like a tree. Yeah. Like a cauliflower. A green. Yes. The green trees. Mm. It is it is it is part of the cabbage family. What? Yeah. What? Broccoli is cabbage. In the Finnish it's called uh parzakali, which is broccoli. And uh, it's because a lot of a lot of plants you know are actually parts of the original cabbage plant that have been bred for their particular purpose. Like we wanted a little little more of these Brussels sprouts, or we wanted a little more of the stems, or we wanted the broccoli, mm. we wanted more of those leaves, but so we made a big cabbage. Uh, big, uh, I, big cabbage and thingy. this is the funny thing: is people go on all oh, genetically modified crops. <laughs> yeah. Guys, we've been doing this for. Thousands of years. We've been doing this for generations, bitch. We're just skipping a few steps. The modern <laughs> banana with this nice little handle that you could do in the flippy, yeah. and it's all yellow and shit. 
Yeah, that's that's, so that's much. selective breeding, uh, my friend. Every banana is actually infertile now. Yeah. Oh, is that right? They're all yeah. clones. They're all clones. It's t- they're all taken from cuttings, right? So they're, they're all technically the same <sighs> banana. Yeah. And this is why well, uh, um, um, um. um the when you get like banana flavor stuff, right? Um the reason why it's it doesn't consistent. taste like the bananas you know of is because that was a species of banana that went extinct in the 1930s. Uh, called, the I think it's like Mikhail, <laughs> like Mikhail Grossman or something, something I think it was called. That's extinct. And the banana that supplanted it was a strain that was actually resistant to that pest. But you, we're now finding that there's okay. pests that can take that one. So, Sorry. so you're saying all bananas are clones, including the ones in pajamas coming down the stairs? Yes, especially the Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Back to the... Back to the but, uh, is it, so, so this is your fireside chat you're having over over in the hedge village. Whoa, you, that's totally gnarly. You come to know that during your festivities, you come to know that that the big mean bully that uh, <clears throat> showed Jael her place is called Gerard de Nevers. Gerard de Nevers? Gerard de Nevers. Okay, Gerard. And he he is the local landed knight. He doesn't <laughs> usually stick around here, but just happened to be passing through when when he heard about about the dragon sliding. However, he stayed around for the festivities. However, this dragon, uh, dragon thing, he was sold, and in the depths of the night, uh, you are you are merrymaking, and everybody roll me an endurance check while merrymaking. Merrymaking. Ooh. Um. Question: Am I healed or am I still yeah. at negative eight? What are our statuses on that? Ah, yes. Uh, are you here? Oh, uh, wait, wait. Uh, you got hit by a stunner. You're full. I have a negative one for something. Probably because I tripped. One threats, whatever. What you want? An endurance, endurance check. Oh, boxcars. Nice. Hmm? Um, why did you get a minus two, Stella? Is your endurance that low? Oh. Um, I got six, six, six for the first roll of the day. No, 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 You're a beast. Bad. Yeah. Anyway, Stella, Dan, yeah. no problem. Mac, you're still feeling a bit woozy yep. from, uh, <laughs> from the disease and adding some alcohol into the mix. Probably yeah. not the smartest idea, but... Oh, it's a Scottish remedy. Yeah. Don't worry about it. That means I get to use one vein on you whenever I choose. Uh, it's well, ears on the chest. Oh. Mm. Uh, b- before or after he rolls? I need to declare it before he rolls. Okay. So, oh, okay, during the night... No, sorry. Uh, Roll me a recon check, each one of you. Mac, take a bait. They got it. Got that <laughs> out of the way quick. Yep. <laughs> with, recon with what? Oh, intellect. Uh, right. So drop three. So eight for me. Eight from from Mac. Stella gets a 10, Dan gets a 9, and Doug? Did it not show? Oh, I thought, darn it. There we go. Doug so, is, uh, Doug is the only abilities? one not really paying attention. Hey, hey, I'm throwing up, and I'm still aware of what's going on around me. <laughs> You're probably, oh. probably throwing up in the right direction. Yeah. <laughs> That's all that matters. Yeah. yeah, bring it, you throw it up in his face. Yeah. So... Well, Doug is probably spending time with the uh, with uh, with the, uh, uh, with Isabella Dinevers. Uh, 
Sea show crazy. Get some uh, space herpes. <laughs> Cross that off of off from the list, eh? <laughs> right, well done. Do, does I do I have a sign that, like a name tag that says James Tiberius Kirk? No, that's or, a dog. Or William T. Riker, <laughs> by any chance? Uh. Either way. Mm-hmm. Um, those of you that rolled eight or more on your recon check mm-hmm. realize that there is a growing murmur coming from the hedge direction. Mm. Uh, it has an electrical tinge to it. And did any one of you roll more than 12? No. Okay, so that's it. That's all the information you get. But it is growing. I want to do an investigation. But what? I think the mummer she's mean on. Well, you would need to get into a touching distance of the moment to investigate. Was he going to leap over the hedge somehow? <laughs> no, I'm going to go through the tunnel and investigate. So you plan on entering the tunnel. Okay. What about the rest of yeah. How close is the village to the tunnel? Because I thought the hedge was quite a ways away. No, it's uh, the village is only like um, uh, what would I say? It's uh, the uh, it's only a few meters away from, from the hedge uh, hedge oh. edge. It's only okay. as far as way as he needs it to be. Mm. Okay, so my map was inaccurate. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, so. <clears throat> I'm, I'm trying to be this. stealthy about this. Oh, so you don't on? tell anyone you're just going. Oh, you don't tell anybody. Is it just you or? I'm going to wake stealth. Doug up. All right, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to nudge Doug since he seems to be paying no attention. Oh, D- Doug is just enamored. He, he is still in the visible. He's just enamored by his uh, conversation companion. All right. I'm distracted. Okay. Mm-hmm. You're Holy. distracted. So, I want to do an investigate. Oh, you want to do a stealth because you don't want anyone else to find out. Right. Doug, remember, our eyes are up here. Oh. Bob, God. <laughs> and everyone around. <laughs> um, let me just double check. Um, yes, everyone. No, this is you leaving. You 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 just think you you're like sneaky sneaky sneaky. That's that's your mistake. You shouldn't be saying sneaky 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 when you're trying to sneak away. <laughs> you you basically like type some oh, something. The dang, galang, galang. You, you type a broom that falls down uh, against some some metallic uh, piece of armor that goes this bang. Like a bell. Where are you going, Stella? There is nothing to see here. <laughs> this that is not goes... the person you're expecting to see. <laughs> okay, hold me for a choke. I mean... <laughs> no, I'm actually... It's like... I'm, These are I'm not the droids you're looking for. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what I was trying well, to do. What's but... going on? Now yeah, going but he's just, just joking. That. <laughs> But yeah, um, even dog I want to go and investigate this. what I'm seeing over here, is what I say. Now can I do investigate? No. You need to get up to the other side of the hedge before you can investigate. Okay, so I go through the tunnel. Or try to go through the tunnel. Yeah, um... Doesn't seem like anyone is stopping you, though. But a few people are continuing to move move towards you, including Gabriel, the <clears throat> so uh, the, the, the 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 guardian of the village. All right. With me here and together, here in the kind of commotion that's been caused, uh, Mac is going to go to wherever he has stored his weapon because. I don't imagine he's been running around, you know, 
during a wee little celebration with his rifle. You know, it's been stored somewhere. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he's going to go and get that first. Okay. And he's probably going to be muttering, seriously, these people are trying to get me killed there. And it's, and I'll be getting, making sure that I'm ready first before I head out there. So you are going for the rifle. Yeah. I have my pistol already on me. Remember, no, we came directly back from the thing and we started partying. We didn't go to the van. Mm -hmm. So I pull it out and get it ready as I'm going through. Getting okay. my gear together. So you head towards the gate and now gate? we move uh, the gate that goes through the hedge. Ah, okay, not that gate. Okay. Uh, now we move to the combat map. Combat map. Ooh. So now I've had one so of those in a long time. Am I with them or not? Your, your I, thought, choice. I think you're still enamored with the boobs. I mean, I heard no, the noise. Uh, actually... If everybody's leaving and going somewhere interesting, and then holy shit, I see what's going. Oh, look at this. This is cool. Oh, hi. Well, JL's not there. <laughs> He's sick up at the top. Oh, look at that. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm going to need to borrow something else because I didn't make a map thingy for the Stargate yet. Oh, how am I going to do this? <laughs> uh, I'm just going to borrow Burnland. Uh, no, no that, that, that one doesn't work either. Oh, well. Okay, I don't see me. Where am I? Uh, you're, you're at the, at the very bottom. bottom next to the fucking giant spider. We're about to level on five. <laughs> no. uh... What's up with ah, that? Damn it. Okay, so. I think that's the dragon. <laughs> or whatever they call it, the beast. Damn it. Uh, I'm going to need to do something because I forgot to make the overlay thingy to work with freaking combat maps. <laughs> Ah, uh, you forgot to put in the walls. Yeah, so that's, uh, I got everything oh. else, but I need to somehow shrink our faces so that everyone can see the combat map instead. So, I'm gonna... oh, right, that overlay. Sorry, I thought you meant something else. Yeah, so, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. well, let's let's just. Um... I can't do. It. I can't even do it during break mode. So. Um... I'm just gonna hide our faces because you could just do it now and we could entertain how about I place a song? <laughs> yes, good, yes, get us a copyright strike. Okay, <laughs> done and done. You get Alex hey. to play the accordion some more. <laughs> copyright strike. I can play an original. Yeah, nobody wants that. <sighs> Either that or he can get Alex to play some class code. There's no way that can get copyright strike if we, if she's playing Beethoven. What does actual okay? So what's here's the thing. So what does copyright strike actually do? It just oh. mean it just means any kind of monetization that we would make from potential adverts on the video that's been struck would actually go to the rights holder instead. Oh, no, we don't okay. lose anything actually. <laughs> For example, oh. you know how they stopped playing "Happy Birthday" a long at time ago, restaurants. Yeah. It's because it's a copyright, and any time they played that, the money that they would have gotten from those food, that food purchase, would have had to go to copyright person. Yeah, but they, it's no longer like that. They knocked that off. They stopped that like 10 years ago. There was it's... a like new law. They're like, yeah, we're not, that's no longer enforceable. But, uh, but I meant for the happy birthday thing, but for, okay. Uh -huh. For videos, it's just like, for instance, if I wanted to just put videos of me playing nothing but cover songs on YouTube, as long as you... I'm like, I don't care about any financials or whatever advertisements because it's a three minute song. Well, the, You're potentially are fine. It's or if you do something where you, it's because weird... I'm sure there's there's tons of cover people playing. Oh yeah, 
you you kind of got to be careful because like for example if you're like i remember it was like tom scott did a piece about this and he's just saying so even if like say like a classical piece of music might be in the public domain but if he plays no but if he then plays a performance say from the london uh, Philharmonic there and that was only in the last 10 years he could actually then get copyright struck for that playing that performance mm-hmm. because London Philharmonic want no LSO no it would be uh, the I got you, I got yeah, yeah, I they got would you. want to be compensated for the work they've done there they do this is this is why a lot of time in in in, in commercials mm-hmm like uh television commercials you'll hear like oh i know that song why is somebody else singing it why don't they just play the original it's because it's cheaper it's way cheaper like well Mm because sony owns the rights and they're only charging like a thousand for the song i I also have to pay the artist who performed it yeah no no no. we'll just pay the rights to use the lyrics and the notes and we'll do our own performance of it yeah all right it's like I remember a, a famous one, uh, Eric Carmen, all by yourself. He, yeah, yeah. So that riffs off heavily on uh, Rachmaninoff's Piano Etude, I think number two, right? Okay. Basically, you know the the music going. I know it very by, well. Yeah, yeah. That that there. That's basically the entire chord progression from that piece, right? He thought it was in the public domain. Nope, it was still in copyright. <laughs> so basically, um, he had to come to agreement with the Rachmaninoff estate. And they basically got, I think it's like every single dime he ever made from that song, they're getting 10%. Yeah. It's something like that. It's something like that. They're, they're getting a, a nice chunk out of it because it was kind of weird because uh, like I was listening to... Rachmaninoff, and I'm going, where's Eric Carmen coming on? <laughs> there, and then I was, oh, all right, of course he did that by mistake. Like the composer who didn't die two, 20 de- two decades be- earlier than he did. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Well, what was that piece again? Uh, the Rachmaninoff? I'm thinking uh, Rachmaninoff, uh, piano, two, number two, if I remember correctly. I, I was thinking of the. Hey, I, was thinking of, all right. I think I, think I have something that works for now. That's yes. pretty good. Yeah, that works. Could be better, but Ooh. I got popcorn to eat. So <laughs> that was more important, of course. I'm gonna change my face over there, so I am in the right spot on the edge of the screen and you guys are it should on be my center left. dead center nah, yeah. you're in a good spot. the players to my left that way yes that's left well you, you could have done jokers to the line no no what is it players to the left Joker. of me jokers to the right i'm stuck in the middle again i just learned i just learned how to do that on guitar too <laughs> i'm no malcolm in the middle so i'll be your... <laughs> Anyway. Well, uh, wait. So does that mean we actually get money from our YouTube stuff? Oh no, it's the it's the Twitch one that would get copyrighted. Never mind. I'm interrupting. We're we're about to get back. No, in. all of it would get on paper copyrighted if it's still stored up. So, as you're approaching the gateway, <laughs> is the gateway at the bottom? The gateway is um uh. The gateway is where you see the blue stuff. That's actually the... You think it looks like a river. It's actually a hedge. Ah, okay. <laughs> and, oh, uh, and that that giant bug. Okay, I get it. Yes, and above uh, the hedge climbs a gigantic bug with huge gleaming eyes, flame coming from between its jaws and its gaze landing down towards the town yeah so much for us dealing with the monster the monster has arrived to take its prize 
And now we may roll for initiative. Oh, now what? What? Roll we initiative. may roll for initiative. Oh, do we have to select oh, my icon first? The words that always start a fight. Yeah, the words that will always start a fight. Let's fight. Let's have a fight, everyone. No, I, I remember like, uh, I'm gonna kick your ass. Them's fighting words. <laughs> I took over your rolls. Um, well, you rolled a one and a two, but D Doug rolled a one and a one. Holy, f well, I remember I'm staring at her beautiful eyes. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Whose beautiful eyes? Um, the he's ball trying to, He's trying to save the virgin from being a virgin. <laughs> yes, it's a cruel fate, virginity. It's Genevieve. It's Genevieve. <laughs> and I call her Jenny for short. I thought I... Uh, I thought I... Uh, that's been, that's as been as a wee bit for some tough Oh, Jenny, that? yeah. I'm just like, Genevieve. That's like a really pretty name. It is... You mean Isabel? Oh, God. Was it Isabel? Was it yes. Isabel? <laughs> oh, shit, it was Isabel. Yeah, at least it wasn't Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> That's one or way Jezebel. to get a virgin sacrifice every time. You just mm. name a child Virginia. And... Can, can you just imagine it if you, if it actually has Doug actually just dropped the wrong name in front of the last, I wonder? <laughs> you know, oh, she that, just goes. That would be like totally fucked up. <laughs> you know, she just... Wait, 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 wait. Isn't that a, a, a pro move? Like, uh, isn't that negging? Or it's supposed to induce. Death. Oh no no no! It's like Negan's Whatever. more like if you go, oh you you could look better or something like that. You know it's. Oh, that's a beautiful top. Most women, most people don't have the bravery to wear it, but you make it look good. Something like that. I don't know. Whatever. Moving on. Um, I'm terrible at it. So yeah. there we go. Wow. Yeah. Well, thankfully. <laughs> well, that's the point. Like I said, I'm terrible at it. <laughs> I don't even know how to do it correctly. Yeah, you don't want to know how to do it. It's a arsehole move. All right. It's some creepy it's ass good, bullshit. It's good you're bad at her. <laughs> right. Anyways. Um, Isabella, so, um, that's her name. One, two, three, four. Yeah, oh, I actually have all initiatives. <laughs> okay, so. Initiative order is them and then you guys. Because you all suck at this. You are completely flabbergasted. But, uh, uh, what's the word? You're taken by surprise by the gigantic beast that climbs above the hedge and doesn't seemingly care much about, uh, care at all about the many, many little buzzy things that are coming, uh, coming at it the and malaria doing bugs. nothing. So, yeah, the malaria bugs are doing nothing to it. It's skin too thick and its eyes too many and its breath too fiery. And it's coming down in the town. Let's see. Meeny, meeny, miny, mo. Um, everybody. Roll me a dexterity roll. You may use athletics on top of that. So athletics with dexterity. If you don't have athletics, you may roll without penalty. Either way. Why do I have a negative three? I don't get that. Because you don't have it trained. Still a decent roll, though. Very good. Yeah, your athletics is not a trained skill. You just have it on the list. Hmm. Oh, wait. Did you say, wait, wait. Totally you missing. Got negative three on it. You said you could do the dexterity without it, right? Yeah. Uh, Stella, click on your just the word yeah, dexterity. Yeah, 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 it's okay. All right, it's fine. 
So, so what happens is there's fire. It's coming down from over the head, uh, from above the hedge, from the mouth of this creature. It's raining down in a nice little area. Uh, I'm just gonna do a circle and make it a yellow one. This is cray cray. You went. There's yeah, this, this area cool. that lights up in flames and breeds into the largest mass it can find. I'm going to stop making more of them and delete the little ones. There we go. That area over there is caught up in flames. Dan Jr. is in it. And taking 1d6 of fire damage. It's not a lot, but it sticks until it gets doused. So you get 1d6 fire damage every round. Until other until somebody takes it out or something. Because it feels like you're getting worn by Napal. So that's four points from Helper. Does, um, I assume armor doesn't have any effect? No. This is heat damage. That, uh, unless you have uh, heat like protection. a fireman's suit? <laughs> I, I, no, I have a flat jacket. Oh, yeah, no, no design no. for this, mate. <laughs> there is actually, actually, yeah, that prevents heat damage. This, yours is not one of them, as far as I know. Yeah. Yeah, they take four points of just Ouch. overwhelming heat damage. Is that a well that's right beside me that I can jump into? Yes, that is a well. <laughs> Or actually, I'll just grab the bucket of water and pour it over myself. But that's. But there's really... also several more civilians around you that are also burning fire. The house uh, next to you is also catching up in fire, and there is a pandemonium about to sh uh, about to go off. And n next in the initiative order is, I do believe it's. Daniel Jackson and Stella. Um, isn't Great Lord higher than us? Is he? He's a seven. Ah, point taken. Great Lord. You're prettier than they are. You're seven out of ten. Wow. So what, they're over a ten, are they? No comment. <clears throat> uh, so Mac's going to be kind of coming out. So I'm guessing... Like looking out of the doorway, can I see this creature in front oh, of me? Oh yeah, or definitely. Is... Right, it's literally being lit up. Okay, Your that's why I just want to go get all the weapons. Was great, including yeah. the sniper rifle. Well, <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. oh. uh, as I said, I I, I I am going to get my laser rifle there. Uh. Aim up a shot at it and fire. There. All right. That's gonna mm. be better. Now I now it looks like I'm looking at you guys because I am mm. looking at you guys and just the camera is good. Holy shit! Nice shot. Yeah. Who says anything about a sniper rifle? I got a laser rifle for a reason. It's not for you, dummy. I know. It's for Stella. Mm -hmm. It's next to me. So, you take a shot with your laser rifle. You aim it straight at the beast. And you click. You pull the trigger. And you mm -hmm. see it. Hits it, in one, it hits it in one of its many eyes. And you can see its head pulled back in agony as it uh, uh, from the force of the impact oh well actually the damage of the impact and it shrieks in agony it shrieks in agony and uh trembles on the hedge around it it collapsing collapsing under its weight but wow it doesn't seem dead I might have just pissed that off, guys. Sounds about right. Possibly. 
Mm -hmm. uh, at that point, I'm also, after I've done that, if I can... You have one action left. I'm going to reach out and, like, grab, like, the other pack, you know, like, another pack of weapons. Okay. Yeah. Just, like, whatever's closest to hand. Sure. Yeah. Watch. The Next is bag. Stella and double Dan. bag of stuff. <laughs> okay. I'm close as I'm pulling out my Zat gun. That's right. And I'm going to aim. Okay. Adam. And I'm hitting it. I'm trying to click it. Get it to the. Forgot there about the Zat gun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That gun, you miss with it. Um, when you're you're taking a shot, you're pressing uh, pressing the trigger. The head just collapses just enough that <laughs> the zap goes above its head. Can I? Do I have it? Can I shoot again? No, you have three yes. action shooting takes two of them. Ooh. You can move up to six meters if you want. Next I'm time, gonna, as a I'm reminder, gonna, next time you could aim as well. I thought I did aim. Yes. I, ah, in that. Uh, in that if, case, if you, that's. Move, yeah, move action yeah, is yeah. a thing. Uh, uh, like, aiming is an action that takes the same amount of action as moving. So you can either move or you can aim, but you can't do the. I, but. Well, I had aimed. I think what he's, I think what was just saying is, you know how you said you pulled out your sat? Are you classing that then as a movement, Wooster? This is what we're needing mm. the class. Okay. So if you did hit it, uh, if you did take the aim action, then you can't move, but you did hit. Right. Yes, that's what <clears throat> she did say. She said she was going to okay. take a name. Okay. So you took an aim and you shot at it. Um, but yeah, it does hit it in, in one of its many legs. The exact thing it goes in it and it just sparkles around. It doesn't seem to be affecting it one way or the other. Yeah, you're basically trying to stun a piece of metal. It's probably oh, not I don't gonna think the Zat gun's going to work on it. But that is nope. good information that I did not know or remember. I didn't know either. <laughs> that is good information to know thematically. And of course, I that gun doesn't work. Ay ay ay, ay ay ay, amigo. And and I can't move to um because I I, I aimed. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Okay. So it was either aim or hit him, and dang. Meaning I'm sorry. move. I mean, hit hit him or move. Hide. Hit him or move. Hit him or move was right. the choice. Yeah. So now you're out in the open with your gun in hand, like shit. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> oh, Next, then. Um, I'm gonna go to the well, get some water, and put myself out. So you're going to wall, uh, well Oops. and trying to put yourself out with the well water. All right, uh, yes. roll me an athletics roll with a bane because you're on fire. You're panicking a lot. Uh, skills. Athletics. You may use strength or dexterity as you please. Uh, I don't think it makes any difference, no. Uh, I've gotten Jonitis, I think. Yeah, you have Jonitis. You, you're fumbling around in, in panic, and uh, you only manage to get the well water half, halfway up during the six seconds it takes for you to ban! I'm going to ask, uh, what's his face? Um, his name again? Doug Gabriel. Gabriel, yeah. If he can help. Gabriel is way away from you. Who's the person right beside me, then? That's Gerard. Oh, 
Okay, Sorry. Gerard. I'll ask Gerard if he can help. All right. Then, um, I do believe it's Doug. Yeah. Otherwise, I could help you. I think I could help you with this. Oh, you're right beside me. Okay. Never mind. Yeah. 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 I got you. I got you, buddy. Uh, whoa, dude. Fire breathing dragon. Oh, shit. Lasers. Dude, you're on fire. Whoa. And I'm going to help douse you and, you know, I'll use the rest of my movement. Uh, I'll use the rest of my action to aid you with putting you out of fire. And then if I have some action left, can I move? You have one action left. You can move up to six meters. Uh, is that uh, a square? Six squares? You have the ruler option. Oh. These are not actually, uh, these squares are there for aesthetic oh, okay. purposes. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, good, good call, good call, good call. Yeah, okay. I'll go to, I'll start moving in, in, in this direction to, um, Stay out of the fire. Yellow is fire. Yeah. There it is. Six minutes. Okay. And um uh, actually, dang it. No, no, no. Are is all these people on fire too? Yep. Yeah, alright. I'm gonna at least Save uh them. can I help these dudes? as well for the remainder of my turn instead of moving yo sure. can do that all right they're no longer on fire and they're out of the danger that's not quite so yet okay up an act uh uh one move and action a minor action is isn't enough to douse four people <laughs> yeah okay okay i'll, I'll help <sighs> the next guy then. unless you have some magic that can right, that do that no 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 first 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 this is acceptable That is my turn. This that is not is going good. Turn. Uh, the surprise attack is effing this up. Okay, so the civilians are going into full-on panic mode. Um, are running from just uh, running. Those those who have the option, are running. Ah. Ah. Running and hiding. Uh, this one is going, ah. Uh, this, this one is definitely going, yeah. And. Uh, what else? Oh, right. These that are, uh, that guy is quite not on fire, so he's also going to run. Sure. These guys are on fire and they are panicking, and one of them just jumps into the well. And crashes into the bucket and takes it with him to the bottom of the well. And well, that sucks. Uh, the other two are like... He didn't do that very well. Mm. <laughs> he did that excellently. What did it? Uh, and uh, the other two are just panic, uh, panic, panicking, burning. Uh, one, one of them is trying to roll around in... Uh, roll around in the non-burning ground. The other, the other one is just uh, runs inside Wait, the building. Didn't I, didn't I help one of them? Yes. That, that was enough to get the bucket back back halfway up. When the when the other when the one guy jumped into it and dug it down with him down. All right, all right, all right, all right. It was a trap. <laughs> all right, all right. So. Ah, oh, I, sh I should probably give this guy something, something like a, like a, like a, like a, like an icon, a fire on him. Yeah, him. that's good enough. Yeah. That's good enough. That one is no longer on fire, but that one, that one, not, that one is also on fire. Just need to remember where I find them from. Okay, Gabriel. Um, uh, throws a pair of ball, pairs of balls and decides to grab the nearest item and toss it at the creature. It doesn't seemingly do much, but he hits solidly. Where and and, and screaming like, "Fight me, you coward and not a peasant!" 
<laughs> Meanwhile, Gerard. Uh, uh, Gabriel is down here with Stella. I see him, I see him, I see him. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Gerard on the meanwhile goes, You liars! You told me you were the beast! But you have betrayed me! And he decides to uh, take a sword out and cut on Dan Jr. Come on, he's, dude! He's closest. You have betrayed him, and now his village is going to die. Of course he's going to hit, uh, try to hit you. Mm -hmm. uh, Throwing the sword takes an action, and then he's going to roll a 2d6 to attack you. But he wishes. He, he's just too much my, uh, my, much in, in anger over over this whole whole issue that his sword just strikes down into the, uh, into the stones of the well and gets stuck in there. Dude, now is not the time. You're not there. But You're on the other side of the burning inside. building. You're on the other side. <laughs> You're on the other side of a burning building. You don't see it. <laughs> oh, good thing I don't. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, Froggy. What a jerk. All right. Next round. The dragon turns its attention towards Gabriel and Stella. No, oh, wait. No. Someone shot at it. Mac what? And Mac. What? Someone did yeah, actual but... damage to it. So Wow. Yeah. So For Mac... once, I've done well and I get punished. Obviously. Isn't yeah. that the job of a tank? <laughs> Sorry, I was meant to be a tank. Uh, <laughs> let me just replace <laughs> to some battle things. armor. What... Okay. The purpose of the tank is to remember things. It's like tanks for the memories. Oh, that's bad. That's uh, that, that was bad. But anyway, that, that, thank that, you. That... Mac, would you like to roll me a dexterity athletics? Oh, I have to? Well, no. you can always take the full damage if you want. All right, fair enough. No, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the other option. <laughs> Ugh. All right. Seven. I Congratulations. That, that is a that is a nice healthy uh oil surface on the Mac. Mm -hmm. Uh with a bit of uh, spark attached. You got yourself a one day six points of damage. Mm -hmm. That will continue. Oh, always they go to Barney, man. Nah, uh, you were just fired. <laughs> Ouch. No, you were. No. Oh. I was fired, but I'm not fired anymore. He's fired. Let me just add a nice little yellow area there. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one hides. Just, <laughs> just a little. I look like a benevolent. Uh, <laughs> somebody threw a giant banana on top of me. Yeah, there, you go. there we go. Thank you. Uh, no, no, yeah. It just breeds a, oh, a stream of fire that ignites you at the front of the building you were standing on. No, standing in front of. <clears throat> Hmm. Oh shit, we're in combat, so... So, next is... Mac. Uh, right. I'm going to take a movement out of the area. Okay. And can Seems I like then... a smart idea. And can I, like, basically, like, drop and roll? Sure. That's a... Yeah. That I believe is a dexterity. No, no. That's an athletic troll. You can use strength or dexterity. Yeah. Oh, I'm fall use... down. <laughs> oh no, I'm using strength for this. Yeah, that's that's uh to determine if you're doing it rigorously yeah. enough. You are taking the piss. That actually is enough. 
Thank goodness. Well, that, ah, see, you're taking a piss. That's you put out the fire with it. Yes. That is probably the you might only... have a stain on your pants afterwards, but that that's probably the only time when I wouldn't mind pissing my pants. Mm. But yes, your fire is doused, and you are now well. Less, Tur- turns less turns out Max is carrying his own fire extinguisher. Yeah, it's called <laughs> your belt. You just told the belt to put your fire on. Stella. Uh, not me. Okay. Uh, right. Stella and Dan at the same time. You can go at whichever whichever order you like. Oh, okay, Stella. Yeah, go. go ahead. No, go he ahead. said Stella. No, no, go ahead. <laughs> he said Stella. Oh, it's like you go first. No, you go first. You go. Someone just go first, please. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is put away the Zat gun because obviously it doesn't work, mm-hmm. and pull out my other gun, and. That is going to be my body pistol. Because I'm not going to be walking around with a sniper rifle. You're not? Why not? Which Dan has all the way above over there. And that, that is my... Putting one away, that's one action. Pulling out the other is another action. You could have you could just drop your that gun. I'm not gonna drop it. I wanna keep it. You could pick it up later. It might get broken. Yeah. It's not like she can go to Arby's and get it replaced. Um, and then I'm going to try and get cover. You gotta get guns from Arby's? A Walmart. <laughs> Actually, you can at Walmart. But anyway, um, I uh, and then uh, the bush there, I'm like trying to squat down to to basically get out of the and I can my next turn, I can try and aim. And so that's my action is yeah, getting I, ready for my next turn. You're going to are you going to run or are you going to stay there and aim? She's, I am she's... going to. He's running and hiding this round. I'm not running oh. and hiding. I'm going behind the bush. Which is running and hiding, yes. <laughs> Which one? This one? Uh, Which bush? Can you, George can you or yourself? George Jr.? Yeah, just move yourself. Right there. I don't see anything. Okay. I yeah, she was moved down. lower for cover. Oh. Okay. But I have my gun out, and and then my next term, and I'm going to aim and. Okay. So, um, then it's Stan. You got an angry guy with a sword next to you. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm going to reach out and. Touch someone. Right. Did you get their permission to touch them? Consent is key here. Sure. <laughs> well, it's either that or the Zat gun. Um, yeah. I'm just saying, think it'll of just, the warden. It'll think just of, stun him. Just think of the warden. Sure, I'll 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 hey, I'll, uh, I'll use the Zat gun on him. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will. Um... He will block. He will try to parry you, so you get a minus two penalty on your shot. If I aim, is it only minus one? Yes. All right. And... No, wait. It takes one action to change weapons. So I haven't later. changed weapons. I don't. Am I changing a weapon? Yeah, you're changing from fist. The gun. You're put, you're drawing a weapon. Ah, uh, okay. Not that anybody else. Okay, fine. Uh in which case, well, either either way, I get a lot. That gun. Reach out and zap me. Whoa. And that is with the minus one penalty too. 
Oh, wait. Where's the last one? Um, uh, you said aim. And also uh, the, the goggle thingies are plus one as well. Okay, fair enough. That is actually enough to stun him immediately. Like, <laughs> he goes down. Down to sleeping. And I assume I don't have any other actions left. Nope. Okay. Whoa! Did you just kill him? No, he's just a, he's just having a nap. Oh yeah, he's breathing. Oh, all right. Don't worry, I got this. I'll use. I think I'm next, right? Yep. Um. So I'll use my minor action to draw or the the and then shoot yep. with the uh. What you gonna call it? The. I have it on my sling on my back. The P90. Okay. So Would you wish to I'm do going... auto fire or burst fire? I'm gonna do burst fire. Because that adds your auto auto function into the damage. And while if you use full auto, you use a lot more ammunition, but you attack auto times. So Yeah, so if I add so yeah, they add the add the auto it Wait, if I add the auto three, it'll do the plus damage, or if I go full auto, you don't get the three attacks? Is that what you said? Wait, how was it? Yeah, if you do, that's, uh, that's your, uh, you get a damage plus your auto value. And yeah, if you do, yeah. you just attack as many times as he's, the other he's value. Too, he's way too far for that, first off, so we can't do that because he's way too far for that. So I'm just going to use the auto three. All right, so which adds a plus three to the damage. It's not a calculate on here though. No, so, no, it's not 14. because you also get plus six from just hitting it well. I so did that's plus yes. nine to damage in total. So twenty one, not bad. Not bad. That's an, that's another solid headshot. Like you can see, you can see the. The sparks caused by the bullets hitting it near the eye, and one of the eyes actually breaks, and there's this glass-like, glass-like sound of. It's six eyes to go to to out of commission. <laughs> it's because also the laser light and the hollow thing on it. I've got this gun modded. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Because... Why not? Doug is a terrible shot. Until this. The evidence points oh. contrary. This points contrary. I'm like, whoa! All right, turn over. That's your turn done. Okay. Um. So, Two civilian nice, one. Uh, uh, is burning, screaming, uh, barely, barely alive. The other, other house. Is emptying other civilians on fire. Oh no, they're cloning. Yeah. And this house itself is also catching on fire. Uh, this civilian runs. This civilian runs. Uh, oh, might as well delete it. I don't need it. Uh, they are just fleeing the field. As far as you know. Gabriel encouraged by uh, the things that are making damage to it, and it sees it's taking damage, decides to throw more things at it. Let's see how well he does. Yeah, he's not doing very well. But he is brave. Uh, brave. Brave Sir Robin. I mean, Gabriel. The next in order of business is the dragon. Um, who clearly has realized that somebody over there is dealing damage to it. And it was very clear where that loud noise was coming. Speak of the devil. Oh, shit. No, I don't want to cluster. <laughs> 
Oh no. That's why I was asking if I had emotion any <laughs> It just its huge legs are just trampling the town, ignoring what it hits, including the fire. It doesn't doesn't even care. It's coming here. It it is pissed off. And it's coming here to slam you with a huge, huge leg. And uh, uh, it's not entirely sure which one of you it is. So it's just swiping there towards both of you. So both of you, uh, call me something to avoid this. The well. I'll use the well. well Can you roll the well? The... <laughs> I really hope I roll well. Roll very well. <laughs> no, um, let's see. Uh, I'll probably do a um, um, athletic dodge. Can I do one of those? Oh, I don't think my electronics will help here. It might, but I don't think it'll help against legs. So it's legs. Yeah, I'm gonna do an, an athletics side. I'm just gonna roll it. Here we go. Done. Athletics. Is this literally a machine booster? What? Is this literally a machine? You wanna find out? Well, I just wanna know if I could use a uh, mechanic to figure out a way to avoid its attack. Sure. You can see its range. I, I'll allow you to use mechanic in education. Nine. No, oh, too bad. Uh, you're pretty sure your calculations are coming in too late. Hmm. Because that 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 swing, Doug. Very very. Uh, how do you call it? Slick with his maneuvers and just diving down, the legs swiping up across. Yeah, roll two and, sixes. What do you expect? And slapping right into Dan Junior. That is. It was nice knowing you. That much damage before armor. Before armor. And, and does the well provide any defense? The well gives you plus four. Okay. So that would be nine, so four damage, which is enough to bring my um, endurance to zero. Mm. Oh, it's, I... it's smacked. Ouch. So I do believe it's Mac. Yep. Mac, you are now doused. And your target is closer. Uh, I'm going to pop up onto a knee and take another shot. There. Oh, by the way, what's your range of your weapon? 200 meters, mate. Let's How many? 200. Okay, you get a plus one for shooting close enough. All right. That's 23 points of damage. Mm -hmm. Wow. That was a good shot. Mm -hmm. I don't know, guys. I, 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 honest to God, I have not got Fudo dolls of you guys rolling ones. Honest. Not more than one each. <laughs> so. Well, you did roll double once, so. Well, one on I'll one for it. damage. Uh, for the attack, one on one. Ugh. But yeah, that is three eyes down out of eight. Are you down? I have to go. Well, it doesn't seem to matter how much damage we do, we just have to hit. Maybe. Hmm. I think it's a combination of both. It's whatever 
But definitely go for the eyes. Go for the eyes, Pooh. Go for the eyes. The eyes have it. All right. Next in order of business, I believe, is Stella and Dan. Okay. I've already said what I was going to do. So I am... It is providing a, a nice butt for you, Emma. Since you are below, you are behind it, literally. Can he, she not see the eyes? The eyes are difficult shots. I be a bit concerned if there's the eyes there, mate. Also, but one more, one more thing. Mechanically, because you last time, because you moved, and you you re, you reloaded, you moved. Oh, you can't aim. That's right. Never mind. He can, she can aim and she can shoot if she likes. No, I was gonna I was gonna say it gives her a plus two to aim because she no. aimed last round, but no, she, she didn't, didn't aim. Well. She didn't have the opportunity to do that. Yeah. Well, you get a plus one because you aimed last round. You, you aimed one time. So you can aim another time to get a plus two total. Well, that's what I said I was going to do is yeah. I'm aiming. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. If you shoot this round, you can get you can shoot with a plus two. But if you continue aiming this round, you can start uh, in the next round, you get a stacking bonus. No, I'm going to, I'm going to Yes, it shoot. would be like. Plus five next time if you continue. Yeah, it's plus three, plus three, plus three. <laughs> you can get up to plus six aim bonuses. And I, my modifier would be a plus two. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice hit. Unfortunately. Even with a nice hit, it does seem like your body pistol doesn't pack in a punch. It doesn't have any armor penetration value. Armor piercing bullets? Hold on, let me see what I what bullets I have. No, that's my rifle. Oh, yeah, but the pistol does have AP4. Okay. Oh, that... yeah, it does. Okay, that actually is enough damage. You managed to take a shot that goes through this, uh, to just to the side of one of the eyes, and ping! Four out of eight. Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> Maybe he'll turn towards me now. Okay, <laughs> next. Probably Dan. not. Um, so if I move, move and then shoot. Yes. Um, where the hell would I move, though? Away. Um, oh, hey, that's not going to work. I can't move if I want to change weapons because the Zat gun is not going to do anything against it. Um, if I drop the Zat gun, does that still count as an action? Nah, dropping is free. Okay. I will, uh, drop the Zat gun. I'm going to regret this. Fuck it. I'm, I'm pulling a grenade and throwing oh. it. <gasps> this is At least there's nobody of our guys anywhere around it. Close enough to be damaged by it. At least okay. I'm fucking behind you for once. Yes. But yes, I'm gonna go back to throw it and oops, it went. Oh my yeah, don't use it. <laughs> don't <laughs> it all amazing it bounce back at us is the thing. Anyways. Whatever. Hold hold it until the last possible minute or second and then throw it. Hold it to the last oh, possible second and second. run with it to the enemy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm already at zero uh, endurance, so yeah. Oh, is that going to affect my? Uh... No, Actually, it's a dex throw. Okay. Yeah, it's a dexterity uh, athletics. Just throw it's a grenade. Grenade. Thankfully, uh, it's not a just click the grenade. As long as it I uses. Think it might, uh, I think it might be. Yeah, dex. Yeah, 
as long as tax. as long as it uses tax and a FedEx, yes. Well, technically, if I use Dex and Athletics, that would add an extra one. Then add because an extra it would one? Be, because it would be jack of all trades. Because I don't have Athletics. What? So it would be minus... Why would two. it add an extra one? Well, okay, well, it would be plus one because of the dexterity. So it's yeah. the, the same as rolling with the dexterity. Okay. Yeah, so Go it doesn't it. make any difference. Uh, if I do, so I'm not adding anything. Okay. Oh, some juice back all ate, ate all my all my popcorn. That would be you. Oi, are you calling me Hello, a douche bag? Hello, douche bag. <laughs> all right. Good. Who wants to make a new character next week? Oh boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, yeah, douche bag. All this new art. Did I take out more than one eye? <laughs> I think it's probably going to be me because you're throwing it at it and... No, you're nowhere near the range. Are you well, sure? Yes, the, ra the range is only Where are you years. aiming at? The mm -hmm. head. Okay. What's the radius for the blast for a grenade um, again? Five meters. <coughs> so, Just... here. That's as far... Like, <laughs> here. Okay. That would be five meters. Okay. This is what pen again? Right. That's a blast nine. Um, not according to this. It's uh, eight. Uh, <coughs> yeah. According to my book, frag grenade that's, that's... is blast nine. Okay, then I'll aim for the main body then. And... No. <laughs> Either yeah. way. Yeah, I mean, so that I don't hit our people. Three, six, and nine blast radiuses. So, hmm? well, you're at least twelve away. I'm ten. Doug's nine, but you don't care about Doug. So yeah, I, I'm aiming basically right there. Right there. So yeah. Yeah. Mangle its okay. Movement. Poor Gabriel. Let's go. Where's Gabriel? Good thing it's not a pocket nuke you gave him. I don't even see Gabriel. Oh, oh yeah. Gabriel he's underneath the so bug. <laughs> well, the, the bug will protect him. Yeah, it's a mechanical bug. Are you saying that we're we're unintentionally throwing a grenade at, at Gabriel? So, uh, I didn't even see Gabriel. He was underneath the bug. That's not my problem. <laughs> Actually, hey. it probably is, but. Eh. Let's see, Gabriel. Uh, does he does he realize to die for cover? He yep. does. All right, good. He got a bonus. Anyway, um, he does realize to die for cover, but it's still a big ass <laughs> boom. And, and then a bug just falls on him, squishing him flat. The bug shakes and uh, trembles. It's many. Many appendages mm. flailing around in yeah. seeming agony, but it recollects itself soon after. It is still standing and causing havoc. Next is, I believe. Do we have any actions? Doug. Oh, what? Doug. Movement? <coughs> uh, no. Movement to pick up the grenade. Another action to throw it. No. Oh, only two actions. Okay. You got three actions, but attacking is one, uh, two actions. Ah, okay. It's it's not bad, okay. kind of. Yeah. Uh, unless we want to move, uh, unless we want to change it, that all actions are just one action. Leave it at that. Before then, is, cr is crouching an action? It's um, <laughs> part of a movement action, yes. Okay. Then I guess I, I'm where I am then. Next. Uh, Doug. All right. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to move and shoot <clears throat> full auto. I'm going to go full auto until I hear the click, and then I'm going to move. How's that sound? Ah! Yes. Go for it. 
I mean, this is what I do whenever there's a big ass enemy up close to me. I just go. Ah! Well, if you fire three times and take out three eyes, maybe it'll be. Dead. I mean, there's a possibility. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. That is a possibility, but we'll see. So, um, <laughs> one, two, three. No! A lot of them seem to be hitting it. But the damage is not that great, is it? Do you have armor piercing? Uh... I do. I do have armor piercing. How much? Uh, uh, it says it's AP plus... AP plus. <laughs> AP plus what? I don't, I don't know. know. If you didn't mark it up, then there's nothing. Nada. No armor penetration whatsoever. <laughs> there's like the, there's at least a minimum <laughs> level. What? Where is? Where is it? I think I literally just hit minus. Uh... Sorry, give me a second. Oh, that's weapons. Just had it in there. Do, do, do. 3x AP plus holder scythe. What's that? Uh, you got 3x AP plus holder scythe, but I don't know what that means. I think it says AP plus holo scythes. Oh. Laser sight up to 3x uh, plus AP. Oh, where's it? Uh, nope, nope, nope. Well, uh, I'm guessing you have armor penetration, penetrating bullets, which would be... I think so, whatever the minimum is. Uh, plus two or plus three? Uh, 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 that I would be three points of armor it. penetration then. What's that? Three points of armor penetration, so AP3 on the, there you go. Right. Uh, on the submachine gun. The Desert Eagle would have AP4 instead. All right, so there it is, and thank you for that. We're looking that up because I can't find it anywhere where the where that is. So the two that hit was a seven and a nine. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Um, and plus whatever the seven, if there's anything over damage because no. of the attack. You managed to pop out two eyes. Ice. Uh, and then I'm gonna run. That leaves it with two more eyes still open, angry, operational. You can move up to six meters. Yeah, I, I think I'm I, running in this direction. My grenade didn't take up any eyes. Apparently not. Damn. Yeah. Did it do a bunch of structural damage, though? Assumably. Intern. All right, uh, that is back to the civilians who are dying, uh, including up, oh, including the big ass dragon that is about to mini 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 mo. Who's going to be doing the most damage to it though? <laughs> it's gonna choose between Doug and uh, where is it? Uh, Dan is right over there. Okay, so it's gonna choose between you two. Which one of you is Evans? Even Steven. Okay. It's, it's, so it's gonna be odd and continue pursuing Doug. I did just hit it. Go, oops, and then run. Inch, inch, inch. Oh, wrong. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's okay. It's trying to oh, stab you. Gabriel. He's gonna try and stab you. All right. Let me see, let's see if it has what it takes. Sixteen to hit. Sixteen to hit. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's what happens, right? I don't unless I do a dodge or a die for cover. Yep. 
You know what? You can't, I'm good with diving you, for cover. You can't dive for cover in melee. No, you're right. Um, I can't parry. Can I? I can't parry. It doesn't do anything like that. Oh, yeah, that's too big to parry. But you can dodge. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think dodging. Uh, actually, yeah, dodging, dodging does, is, does is a thing. thing. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, you reduce its attack by two by dodging. Also, you get a minus two for the next round as well. That's that's acceptable. So, in all in all, its hit is fourteen against your against you. So let's do some damage. Six plus. Six. And on that note, what is yeah? What is it that's twenty two points of damage? Twenty two points of damage. You feel Ouch. its metallic claw just pummeling through the vibration of the ele electric circuits as you are being pinned down to the ground and the gra and torn asunder like the little morsel of a lunch you are. Yikes! Ouch! I am. I mean, that's it doesn't feel to be lot. chicken. Oh, see, I can. I think I can only do minus four because of the armor, right? And the dodging didn't do anything else to it. No, no, uh, the armor uh, armor works fully. This doesn't have any special armor, but it has a huge damage potential. So I'm gonna drop to zero on endurance. That's eighteen of. So I have to account for what? Um, twelve? No, fourteen? No. Yeah, fourteen points of damage then, right? I do believe so. Yeah. Alright, so fourteen. So endurance down to zero. You had and... you had eleven points in endurance, right? Yeah. So you took eighteen points of I damage. Have... That means you have seven left to distribute between strength and dexterity. Now is that eighteen and then minus four because of the uh No, it's twenty two minus four is eighteen. Oh I see. Okay, I see. Alright, all right. In so that you... case my dex is going to alright, so this is gonna go be the temporally zero minus eleven and this is gonna be my dexterity is gonna be at one now. Minus seven. And... Huh? Oh. So you're gonna take what? You got seven points of damage to take. You're right, right. So my dexterity is now at two. Yep. Alright. So I'm barely hanging on, but I'm like I'm caught. And I'm down. Yeah. I'm down for the camp pretty much. No, you're technically still fully functional. It's very wounded. Until you lose your second stat fully, you're still conscious and operational. Hmm. Uh, when you lose all three stats, you did. Yeah. Did. However, you are now still fully functional. Next in order of business is... Um. Back. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna take him take another shot again. So another shot. Yep. Okay. Are you aiming? Yes, I'm aiming. And so is that going to be a modifier of two? There. Modifier of plus one from aiming. Yep. And. Um, I thought you also uh, said one plus one before. for the range, yes. Yeah. Just make sure I'm on the same page as you, that was all. It's a nice hat. Nice yeah. hat. Not a lot of damage, but a nice hat. Yep. <laughs> the cracking of an eye is a, is a familiar sound, but unfortunately, your friend is still in. He's still stabbed by it. Next, in order of business. Stella and Dan Jr. I'm going to aim and try and kill the damn thing. Okay. Plus one to hit then. Actually, what is your range? You got a pretty short range of weapon. Uh, no, you get a minus two because of the range. It is your gun is only five meter uh, five meter radius, mm. and that's the uh, the head is like twelve meters away. Mm. 
Could you can move up? Can I move have a question. Yeah, I was just going to ask. Can I move up? You can. Uh, you you can you? move, but you not you can you can either move or aim, not both, if you want to shoot as well. Mm -hmm. So the move will be one action. The shoot's then two actions. You've got three actions you can take. Okay, so let me go ahead and move up. You would need to go somewhere around, yeah, to be close enough for not to get penalties. Like, actually, here, that's that's good. That's got close enough, yeah. Right. And that is way more than six meters, though. That's two actions. Oh. Move that okay, far. then I'm gonna go back. Yeah, means we'll take one shot at minus one. As yeah, opposed to not shooting. Yeah. You can, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. If you stay still, so, you can shoot at shoot with a minus one. If I um, stay still, you stay, but I can if you, aim. If you aim, yes, you can you can take a shot with a minus one. If you move, you can take a shot with a minus two. Okay, so I'm not going to move. I'm going to aim with an, a minus one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Eleven. Mm -hmm. That's actually a hit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> However, an eye is not broken yet. The last eye I'm... is remaining. You hit it the side of the head. It... <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah, now, come over me. Now it's Dan. Well, I've used all the other weapons. Let's switch weapons again. So I cannot aim. But I will use the eyes to take a uh, accelerator rifle. Uh, do I get plus one because of the ridiculously short range? Yes. Okay. So net plus two. And bang, and two. And let's actually click on the window before I type the two. And uh, what boom. gives you the other plus one? The eye thingies. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. ah. uh, you hit it in the last eye. And uh, it has lost all of its eyes. So now it's blind and uh, Doug, you are impaled. It's your turn. <laughs> you can feel the programming of the creature moving, yes. mo mo moving to a countdown. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, Mac doesn't know anything about that. Uh hang on. I'm gonna Oh shit! It's going to blow up. I can feel it. I can feel it. Mac hack it. it. Mac hack it. Mac it. <laughs> I'm going to Hack it and I use all of my points to stop this. For the oh, first okay. time ever, I'm going to use everything. Yeah, it's not the first time ever. It's not? Oh, right. you do this quite often. No, I only, go, <laughs> I only go plus four. What is the max? Uh, plus seven. Plus seven. Yeah. No, and previous times he's just put, he's just used yeah. the tap. Yeah, I'm going to have yeah. to change this that you reset your things every time you return home for the mission <laughs> instead of every, every session. But yeah. Well, we did have a rest session. That's why with the yeah. party. Yeah, I know. I know, I know. I know. I keep well, myself uh, uh, on, 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 on lean on this for this one yeah. purpose. Okay. Oh, you rolled terribly, but you still got a 14. <laughs> You were getting at least a 13. I needed everything for you this. You could have gotten a 25. You want to know what the difficulty for this is? 14? Me, please. 14? <laughs> wow. Good thing you used all the points. 
So as you, as you realize the program is starting to change, uh, this happens all in a faster than thought sort of way. Your reaction, the, the fact that you spoke, the, the speaking, that, you know that that's still the future. That's just happened. That's going to happen. But you already fixed the problem by the time the words come out of your mouth and your conscious brain catches up. All right, there's no problem anymore. Uh, the, the countdown has been stopped. The system has been shut down. And uh, the, the machine on top of you crumbles and begins to collapse on its own weight because none of the systems holding it up are there anymore. And... Now there's a giant beast. And Doug is still impaled on it. Uh, never mind. I stopped it. Oh. So. We're going to keep the combat order. Because yes, every yes, yes. round Doug is going to start losing one point of that. Because they're bleeding. So, after Doug, Mac. Mac's going to. All right, hold on. Um, how far away am I from Doug? You are 10 meters. So that's going to be two movements to get to him. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Now these civilians have like died long, long ass time ago. I'm going to move over to Doug. Oh, that that did that did die, but that's not the one I was trying to get to. That one. Ah, well, I might as well just move this. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm moving over to Doug. There. We go. there. <laughs> okay. Um, Oh, there's also fires around and it's spreading. Uh, the right. building you're next to has also gone up in flames. The flames are coming from the inside. Right. I just, how, you know, like, how solid is the leg that he's impaled on? Oh, that's, you would say, like, uh, comparable to, like, steel or harder. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn to my um, my little friend there and have it give, give an analysis of the material because I'm wanting to actually see if I was to basically break right. through it, could next, I next round. cut through it? Okay, okay. You, uh, right. That's going to... I'm going to roll that to mine action for you. So roll, yeah. me, uh, roll me science metallurgy. <laughs> Which is the one? Oh, I don't think metal allergy is a is a stat, but okay. Yeah, yeah. just roll me science. You normally roll science, for so that's going to be a neg three uh, on my uh, education or intellect. Oh, well, either. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. No. Metal allergy. Metal allergy? What? So, um, yeah, it seems to be a metal of some kind. No shit. It seems to have, like, protons and neutrons and some electrons involved. You yes. Or are those gluons or quarks? Isn't quark yes. that thing from, from Star Trek? Yes, it's also a subatomic particle. It's just, it's... Keep space nine. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but these are the thoughts that are going through Max's head. Mm. How does Star Trek right. get involved into this? Isn't that science fiction? <laughs> anyway. All the science, you know. Good. How far can you move for one action? Six meters, unless you have something that tells you you can move faster. Urgency? <clears throat> 
The D, the DM, the DM, tell me. I'm oh okay. right, shooting takes two actions, but other things don't. Okay. I actually like... had a character that could move. Um, was it? Uh, da, 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 da. Six, uh, 18 meters per movement. Bionic legs? Yeah, he was, he was all decked out and everything that added movement mm. <laughs> in the system. He, 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 he moved at three times the pace of a normal human. Um, well, okay, I'm going to move over to Doug. Oops. Move over to Doug. And do a medic thing on him. Ooh, that's cool. Is that uh, what's that under six meters? That was eight meters. Okay, so you don't have time to do a medic thing. Why not? I still have two an action left. One act, one minor action is not enough for medic thing. The medic thing will be a probably a major action. Okay, so it's like shooting. Okay. Yeah, it's a it's a major action. Okay, in which case I'll move to the other side. That way other people can get in here too. Okay. Cool. And I'll med I'll medic him next round. Next round of action is Stella. Uh, Stella. I'm actually going to go up to the spider and investigate. Okay. Can I do that? Yeah, sure. I do believe it's under six meters from you. Yeah. Investigating the spider is going to take 1d6 minutes. So do I type roll? Not 1D6? yet. It's, it's huh? going to be after Dan, uh, Doug either dies or lives. Yeah. Yeah, each round is six seconds and it's 1d6 minutes. So at okay. least 10 rounds. Doug is going to die yeah, in about seven one. rounds, I think. So, yeah. Uh, next, I believe, is... Gabriel. Doug. Doug. I got a 16. Wait a minute. You don't... I went up. I'm investigating. Yeah, and I that's going to be about seven or ten, at least ten rounds from now. Because it's 1d6 minutes to do the investigate, and each round is six seconds. We're moving in seconds, and what you're doing takes minutes. That's what I'm saying. Are you doing or just a quick cursory glance of like you just like looking or I don't know. No, I'm uh, investigating. I don't in know what's going on the other side. Okay, perfect, mm. perfect, perfect. Yep. Um, can I help lift this thing off with my last remaining bits of strength to get sure, this that's, from this? That's athletic strength check. <sighs> athletics strength. Ooh. That is close, but not on no cigar for you, mister. That's uh, okay. minus one to one of your stats. Because you're bleeding out. Yes, I'm. Next order of business, Mac. I try to lift it. Oh, that goes. No, you shouldn't have done that. Oh. Um, I am just going to more for blade out of my hand mm -hmm. and actually just try and see if I can actually just slice through the leg just like a just a maybe like a foot above him there and that's just slice through it so we can free free him from the actual remains. Okay. Free him from the impaling. All right. uh what's the armor penetration value on him? I think we've never established that, sir. He just cut through everything he wanted to before. Are you telling yeah. me you did not write it down when I told you? No, I don't think you ever told him. No. You've never... I think... Hold on. Let me just... Give me a second. I'll just double check. See what I do have. Because there's been some stuff you've not told me because it's been a secret. Which has made it... And I've not experimented enough to actually find out 
<laughs> what the powers are. So th- the stuff that I do know, I know it gives me armor protection eight. I heal on stun damage for endurance. Okay. I uh what else do I know about it? Uh I know it's symbiotic armor. I know it gives me information when I ask it stuff. It can help scan things. Um, I know I can form weapons from it or armor from it. There. Mm-hmm. That's all I know. Hey, see. All right. Only <laughs> in melee, so. Because right. literally everything else he's tried to chop through with He's always chopped through. Through, yeah. It's mainly been I've tried to chop up humans. Turns out they're not. Yeah, you know, chop chop humans with a sword made out of steels. Mm. Armored uh, humans, he still chopped them in half. Yeah. Romy Emily. Yeah, just give a second. It is normal. Uh, <laughs> oh, you missed and you hit Doug. <laughs> no, it's worse. It's it's so much worse. You're dying anyway. Holy fuck. That was good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you managed to cut it the foot above Doug. Mm-hmm. And it easily slides through. And now the entire weight of the creature begins to fall down because there is no longer a solid structure. Ooh. And the f- uh, weight of the leg drops down I guess I can't down, grab him at the same so time too so, and misses him by an inch right just mm-hmm. just in the ground going right okay um I'm guessing that was two actions for me that was a full action doing that yeah, yeah. okay um I'm like guessing if I was to try and do anything like to grab the leg and pull it out, probably it's not going to be advisable to do it now. But if I was to do that, that's going to be a full action also. Dan. Oh, right. Okay. Medic time. Sure, you want to do that while he's still inside the thing? You mean it's inside him? Yeah. Uh, obviously, because yeah, if we pull it out, he'll bleed out instantly. Hi, medic and education. Oh my God, I can't roll. With... Sorry, John, can you're, I, you're screwing uh, me up. Can I assist? Because I was too late. Uh, that's minus one stat to Doug, but Doug is stabilized, so <laughs> I'm pa- that passes me out. I am now at. Negative. I'm at zero zero. Zero oh. dexterity. So Doug oh, is no longer shit. able to move. Yeah. So I'm stabilized, which is fine. No, yeah, that means you're no longer bleeding until you pull out the thing from inside you. If he's not bleeding, I'm not gonna pull it out. <laughs> but hopefully someone tells me that we've stopped the bleeding. That's all. Just a tip. Just a tip. Don't pull it out. <laughs> hey, you're unconscious. You should not be. That's a, a trick. Oh, you're unconscious we have a for that. There's that. Anyway, yes. moving on. Moving on. I stopped the bleeding, but he's passed out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Carlos, you know all about the tip, don't you? We live in the USA. Tipping right. culture. Now, now we can go back. To not being in combat order, and we can see what Stella has discovered. Mm-hmm. Congratulations, Stella. You have discovered that this creature is mechanical in nature. It is a robot, for all you know. It is controlled by a, uh, controlled by a um, operator inside its head. Presumably is dead now. Who is presumably I, dead by now? I want to. I want to actually 
find that operator. Okay. You mean this thing was basically a big soid from the the TV anime show Soids? Yeah, I How don't do know. I haven't side? seen Zoid. Have you never seen that? No. Not a thing you've heard of. either. No, it, it's it's like I it's like one of those uh, Power Ranger things. Yeah, it's the same sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. So I want I actually pull out the dead body, right? Yeah. Um, you figure out there is one. Not that you uh, how you can get into it. It's still locked. It's a few holes where you can see through the eyes that yeah, there is a body in there. What does he look like? It looks like a human. Does it look like the the group that was there before us? Yeah, it does seem to be sporting uh, one of those one of those enemy armors. Okay. I'm on top of the the spider, right? Sure. Because I look went... down, I see what's... Yeah, it's 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 flat on the ground, so yeah. So I see what's going on. Oh, by the way, there. there's a lot of fire around. Forgot forgot that part. So technically, it's pretty hot. I think that might be the first thing you've noticed. Yeah. Now that now that I remember this stuff. Yeah, this village is on fire, and uh, Doug is going to probably burn if he's going to left in the spike. Is the spike on flames? No, but the house next no, to it is. No, it's on the flames, uh, so uh, it's, right, like, yeah. it's like um, cast iron. You know how hot cast iron mm -hmm. gets, right? Oh, yeah, I'm going to be help getting them moved. So, One. like, the, these yellow circles represent areas on the fire. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, Doug, you said you wanted to work on your tan. Let's get Doug out of here. Oh, okay. so, so, I see now what's going on with with uh, Doug. That he's attached to the thing. It's like, yeah. The, now I'm gonna. The fire is I'm about gonna... to, you know, engulf you too if you stay close enough. Okay, so I'm gonna run over. There's oh, also Gabriel's it's... corpse right over there. He's dead. Yeah. Huh. Well, why is Gabriel dead? I thought he saved against the grenade. No, against the thing falling on him. I think. I'm still waiting to hear an answer from Wooster. Yeah, so oh, am I. Why? When did Gabriel die? Why? Why is Gabriel dead? Or why did is Gabriel dead? You don't know. Ellie, you might want to grab Gabriel's body out of the fire. He might not be dead. Okay. Well, I'm trying to, but I can't get him. Why? Why? It's not allowing me to grab him. Oh. Oh, you mean no to actually physically move his token? Okay. Yeah, I can't. Uh, yeah, but that you do it, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And uh, his armor is hot. I... I'm going to. Uh, uh, well, Mac and I can grab Doug, and we can. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! You can actually grab three people. Oh, well, I didn't know you it's could do because that. Because we could, you can control us. All characters the can tokens. grab us, but we oh, can't okay. grab like Gabriel. So I can't grab him, but I'm, I'm. Yeah, thank you. It's how the roll twenty works. Cool. Right. Um. Is the guy who dove into the well still in the well? Assumably. Yeah, that never makes sense. 
hey, bring up the water. <laughs> Throw up the bucket. Um, if I give Doug a stim, will that give him back some of his endurance and thus bring him back to consciousness? Yes. Okay. Stims I... do cause one point of damage when used at this stage. But does he recover it before he takes the damage, or does he, he take the damage? He takes the damage first, and then gets endurance back. Okay, well that won't work then. Yes, it does. Because it no, won't, well, because strength. he'll take his he'll take his third stat, having yeah. damaged. No, but he doesn't go down to zero. Yeah. I mean, uh, um, be I thought he was at zero on two stats. Yeah, he isn't zero on two stats. He'll take a third stat of, of that damage, but doesn't go to the third zero. Yeah. No, but if he goes to the third stat of damage, then he has to have surgery. Yes. Yeah. So, so basically, instead, I will have to do something. So you're gonna get... maim me just to wake me up. Yeah. No. Yeah. That that <laughs> totally. seems like a bad plan. Yeah. We need to do something that will give you recovery. Before I, I think it's called bed damaging. rest. Yeah. At this point, the only um, weapon in your arsenal is bed rest. Um, I know. I do have a med kit. You already used it. It did more than bad than it did good. <laughs> Me, I, I get the feeling this is closer to surgery than anything else. I think the med kit's not going to cut it. Storyline wise, is no, but Mika is like more for, Sorry. oh, you you're bleeding. Let's co cover you. He's got a major, you know, entry and exit wound there. Mm. Is, I mean, mm. remember Starship Troopers where you see the, you know, the the ratnids, um, that. It, that's what I'm thinking of. It's That's when it exactly. goes into Casper Van Dien's leg, and it's like, you know, it's in t it's a ma like there's like that much of his leg missing. That's basically what I think Doug's shoulder's going to look like if we just draw this out and we try to take take a make it to it. It's not going to work. Anyway, anyway, the first eight rules is you're gonna uh, use it once. And after that, it's bed rest. Unless you have some magic ding about Bobby, then can do healing. All right, but I can use the med kit on somebody else. Yep. Yeah. If anyone else mm -hmm. has taken damage, you can use the med kit on them. I will go over and uh, see if uh, what's his face uh, Gabriel yeah. is still alive. Okay, yeah, roll me a medic with education. What about the rest of you? What are you gonna do with the, the with the kebab over here? Don't forget to save the king, also. Uh, He's. Yeah, uh, the king? This guy, the guy that you the zapped. Knight, oh, the knight no. that the guy who attacked me? Attacking yeah. him. Oh, yeah. you mean yeah, he let, just looks like Elvis fry. in his token? Let him fry. Um, wow. <laughs> uh, okay, is is anybody going to assist me? Maybe to give me a boon? Uh, by the way, uh, uh, how do you plan on detaching Doug from the ground? Sorry to say that again? Doug is impaled by the claw into the ground. Oh, I'm gonna use... He, he's still kebab mode in, next to the house. Right, so... I hate to say this, maybe we should... Leave Doug behind. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, sorry, you don't hate to say that. I hate to huh. say it, but I... Pulling out the, the pistol and... Basically using the pistol to shoot the, you know, to sever it. It's already been severed. Oh. It's, it's just now, that it's part. just the last piece of the end of it is impaling him. I, I, I just need someone to kind of support Doug. I'll okay. support Doug. I'm basically, I'm going to hulk it as best, as much as I can. See if I can try and hulk out with this suit. And let you just pull it out off, you know, out of the impalement on, on the ground. So you're gonna or go to the full suit on the mode? You can push him from the back and I'll hold him. 
it's something yeah the, it's a, it's I think a bit, the, bit like a triangle mode so pushing dug upwards would make more damage oh yeah so uh, well, no, okay, okay, okay. Just, we just need to pull it out of the ground we yeah. don't need to get pull it out of him okay so yeah. both of us holding it yeah so to i'm gonna out. pull it I'm and going you're to gonna system. you're gonna keep him stationary in regards to the actual you know what he's stuck to you know just to make sure that when i pull it i just don't pull it out of him so so there. your your game plan is to get him to stargate hospital basically that's a, that that is a solid game plan i give you that mm -hmm. so okay um roll me a hulk check and uh so i'm guessing my strength um, Basically, still. Uh, and what do I do? Um, let me, let me do. Uh, you, yeah, you roll athletics as well, I guess. Uh, athletics dexterity. The good news is, if you damage him, we can give him a stim so we can cover. <laughs> okay, uh, right. Stella is doing an absolutely fantastic job. Uh, and the sank check is sufficient now that there is no longer 27 tons of bug on top of it. Yeah. So, yeah, you managed to detach Doug from the ground. Mm hmm. And he is still impaled on the thingy, but at least you can now move him without mm -hmm. hopefully aggravating the wounds too much. With the the thing still attached to him yes. to, yeah. to you know yeah, keep still, the still the like uh, still blood. like almost two feet of feet of the claw inside him. <laughs> okay, I'll do the medic check on Gabriel. Mm -hmm. Are you... Eleven. No, I hadn't done it yet. Okay. Uh, yeah, there is definitely a lot of, lots of wounds on him. Uh, lots of shrapnel has gone through the armor. You mm. go through basic basic treatment over there, and yeah, you think he might regain consciousness within a few days, but he is out. Okay, but he's not dead now, and he's stabilized. You would hope so, yes. He has definitely taken three points, uh, three stats worth of damage. Ouch. But he needs surgery to survive, or heal, probably. But now, he's stable for now. Um, is the hedge gone? Where the bug went through it? Yes. Okay. Well, it's not gone gone, but it's like trampled. Yeah, very well. I'm just thinking, can we go it's bring the van It's also buzzing through? a lot in the it, terms yeah. of uh, terms of bugs. Can we dr drive the van through that? Yep. No. This thing has legs, very high legs. It doesn't need to crash it so much. You we have... have to go through the. We have to go through the tunnel. There's the option of going through the side tunnel, which is ways away. I think I, I I'm gonna regret to ask this. But what are those four tokens down there? You don't see them. I see. I'm I'm just asking what they are. You don't know them. Don't 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 ask. Okay. Don't ask. Don't tell. Yes, exactly. Please, don't. I was hoping he had forgotten about them. No, he hasn't. <laughs> I can hope. I just um, didn't need Stephen to remind them they were there. Uh, I, I'm going to shout at the, my loudest voice, saying, "Villagers, come back and help put out the fires." <laughs> I think you need, I think you need to actually highlight the monsters dead. Yeah, well, okay, and the monster's dead. 
and I hope you've got a very loud voice because I think they're over the horizon by yeah. now. <laughs> well, there's also the the fire mm -hmm. that is very loud. Yep. <laughs> mm-hmm. The fire, fire is surprisingly is. loud, yeah. Especially when it goes. We did get dug away from the fire, I presume. Mm. You can get dug away from the fire. It's no longer a kebab. Well, he is still a kebab, just not one actively being fried. So what is your game plan? I already said. I rolled a nine for the persuade, by the way. Yeah. But what is your game plan from now? Try to um, stick around, take the fire out, or try to get these guy, uh, these guys to hospital, or. Uh, well, if we can get the villagers back to put out the fires, then we can leave and get back to the hospital. It is their village. I just did a day's rest. <laughs> <laughs> It is their is this she is going? It's just a uh, is this a, it's just a flesh wound. I've had worse. How did you have worse? Your arm is off. And so. you're not you're unconscious. You yes. can't walk. Yes, this is a nice trick you've got, sir. Are, are, are we needing to like ask uh one of your family members to chloroform you to actually aid in your role playing, sir? Um, all right. Well, I don't know if that got any villagers to come back, but I do have one other option. I'm going to go over to, um, the guy who tried to beat the shit out of me and, um, I'm going to give him a stim. They're going to stab him. <laughs> well, if, if I can get him back up. Before, no, no. The guy I shot, I, I knocked down. Yeah, so what I Gerard. Gerard, yes. While that's going on, what Max gonna say is he's gonna say to Stella, look, keep an eye on Doug. I'm gonna scout out where this thing came from. And I'm gonna slowly but surely laser rifle out, move. I'm not gonna go through it, but I just want to have a look at where the, the what remains of the hedge. And Are you still you wearing that, the full armor? Wait, wait. Wait, mm -hmm. before okay. he even does all of that, because he's talking to me, it's like, do you not remember when you were going through the hedge when you got stung by that and you ended up with malaria? I, I, I'm not going to go through the hedge. I'm that thing came over. I'm just looking at what's happened to it. The The hedge is like six feet Wide uh -huh. and the fire is closing. Uh, fire is actually a rabbit closing in on the hedge. Oh, good. One thing we don't mind burning, mm -hmm. yes, well, and no, because that the 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 bugs will be right. inflamed by the smoke. We might want to put out the fire. Uh, actually, they probably, uh, if I'm thinking like if it's if they're more like bees, bees go to sleep with smoke, don't they? Mm -mm. Isn't that why you smoke them to get, or is that just to drive them out? Drive them out. Yeah. Depends, Depends on, on the smoke, actually. <laughs> what are you giving no. them weed? <laughs> yeah. No. It, it also um, makes them more aggressive. Mm. That and gasoline. Well, I think the gasoline is what's making them aggressive, not the smoking them out. Considering that's like what a lot of beekeepers use, and it's not like I, I can't remember the last time I said, "Yeah, experienced beekeeper stung to death as he does something he's done a thousand times." You know, <laughs> it's. Mm. Uh, same so thing, I don't keep bees, so don't take my word for it. So. so when uh, Gerard, if Gerard comes to, I'm going to say, the monster's dead, the village is in trouble and needs your help. Okay, first of all, Mac, you're still yep. in your armor. Yep. Cool. So, you get closer. Uh, even before you realize it, you, you start receiving reports like, attempted stung. 
prevented. Attempted stunned, prevented. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh Mine is bigger than yours. <laughs> I love mine. It matches mm -hmm. my outfit. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Froggy. <laughs> <clears throat> right. Uh, what was the same Wooster? Preventing what? Stung prevented. Yeah, it, basically the bugs are trying to bite him. But, yeah, yeah uh, your armor, now that it's fully operational, is preventing all this damage. Fully. Mm -hmm. High-tech armor. For the win! Yeah. Next is um, Dan going around Stabbing people. It's Tim Bax. <laughs> and there's a... <gasps> so, and, and I, I... I told you what I said to him. I'll be out of the parish raid. The dragon has been slain. Call, but you, we need your help. Still. To save your village. village. Lucky for you, it was an easy check. <laughs> Uh, he looks around and fire remains of the dragon burning and he slowly stands up looks at the sword by his side and then then realizes that the hedge is about to start burning and goes oh fuck <laughs> <laughs> we must leave this place is not safe for long enough. The fire is going to spread to the hedge, and I cannot. We cannot stop it in time. They, they, they will spread. Find trying to find new nests. While they do, they are ag extremely aggressive. They must save any village, uh, any villages still inside inside buildings, and flee. The only villagers that I think are still in the village is the moron who jumped into the well. What? He he looks down in the well, and yeah, there is somebody floating in the well, holding onto the bucket for his life. Uh, hi, boss. <laughs> and he immediately begins to pull him pull him out uh, out out of there. Rather have some, yeah. Is is the um is there another way through the hedge, away from the village, so that we can get uh, the injured back uh, to our vehicle? There are several small tunnels. Yes. Okay. You actually came in from a several uh, one of those. Yeah. Small tunnels. Mm -hmm. Is there one close by? You're out there. Yeah. You're on the uh, you're on the other side of the fire again. Oh. According to my map. Uh yes. Uh ba -ba 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 -ba. uh Mac, you mm -hmm. observe into the darkness. Your sensors do not locate anything out of the usual. Mm -hmm. I think. This is where um, Max going to be just trying to do like a few different things here. Just when he's like, you know, looking there, he's just trying to like, he, he's just seen this kind of like, he's seen this film recently called Predator 2, where the creature is able to change like the, the different from like seeing an infrared to, you know, seeing like other interactions with other things so he's trying just to see if he can get the suit to kind of filter what is being seen there okay um give me electronics with intellect mm, pizza good mm. all right uh Takes a bit of finagling, but you can change scope types. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, and just some doing it. Does like anything kind of jump out as being unusual, or is it? As previously mentioned, you don't detect anything unusual. Okay. Okay. Um, is it east or west to the nearest um, tunnel, Gabriel or Gerard? Sorry. East. Okay. So I can't, of course, grab him, but let's go this way. And then we'll head east this way with our wounded. Make a, like, I don't know, a stretcher with a hole in it and a regular stretcher <laughs> to carry the injured ones. Right. You have about a minute before the fire reaches the hedge. So do your math quickly or do your crafting quickly. I would say that would be a profession crafting or There's... art. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I have with art is education. Um, Max going to fall There's back. no crafting. There's no crafting. Uh, it would be could be mechanics. Yeah. Mechanics, I'm not going to be able to carry him by myself, Mac. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just going to basically go right. Are you taking, can't roll are you taking his shoulders or are you taking his legs? Uh, oh. Gerard and the well person who is most wet uh, are like, we'll take Gabriel. Legs. Right. Okay. So and, uh, we, they, they are going further towards the inland, like away from the oh, hedge. We, yeah. we, we, can, we can heal Gabriel back at our home. What? So again, we. Yeah, so what uh, okay. Mac and Stella is going to do is Mac's going to take Doug's shoulders, Stella's going to take his legs, and we're going to carry them between the two of us. Okay, so you're going to just carry them, carry him. Yeah. Okay. So, um. Yeah, this fire's getting a wee bit both crazy. Of you, both of you roll me athletics. Yeah. <laughs> what? Both roll of you athletics. roll me athletics with yeah, strength. Doug is a wee bit pudgy. And uh, it's uh, it's more, more more along the lines that you are tired from this exchange. Mm -hmm. On top of that, oh, you have to like, carry him. Looks like I am. All right, seven. Yeah. And then hold me a survival, both of you. Actually, all three of you. Oh jeez. And this is how the story ends, folks. <laughs> survival with what? Intellect. Uh, no, intellect. Yeah. Exactly oh, also works. No. Right. Okay, well, Please. Same, no. The same thing. Oh. Yeah, folks, this is how Stargate story ends. Mm, right. Until the new team comes in. Oh, yeah. I'm going to skip a little bit. Because um, seems like a natural place for it. And mm -hmm. uh, you guys do make it to the Stargate. Mm -hmm. Uh with your with your vehicle and uh your uh, wounded you mm -hmm. get across the gateway you're immediately rushed into the hospital scene and uh, as you are taken care of there is the hospital bill given to you from your various injuries and your malaria and all the other things hey hey, hey i'm fine hey, we got cured yeah. we got cured in the village uh not cured per se. Probably being pissed on, you know, like the wood. Your, your. <laughs> um, it's not a cure. It's what's the word? They have suppressed your symptoms. Ah. They have tended to your symptoms. You, the the pathogen pathogen is still in you. You are you are able to spread the disease. Jeez. We're we're patient zero. <laughs> yeah. So luckily you have a very stringent uh <clears throat> testing regime back at home. And that kid is how COVID nineteen started in nineteen <laughs> sorry. So you're gonna face let me say Stella I, I gets know. a uh, bill of ten thousand. Uh, wait, okay. wait, wait, wait. I did not have malaria. 
Quality is on your way not... back. Ooh. That was the survival check. Ah. My survival check was really good. Seven. Six. Seven. Oh, no. Seven. Yeah. It's normally eight for past season. That could even be higher. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, uh. I blame John. Yeah. yeah. We should have just left Doug. Mm. Yeah. You know, that dead weight. Yeah, Doug, on your surgical expenses. Uh, well, I'm hoping you survived, sir. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah, because we don't want to pay your bill. While the <laughs> while Kate Lord rolled the six, it's gonna be yeah. Stella that we're gonna 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 add that cost to like make uh, because he's she's not here to roll and everything. So, but anyway, that represents her her share of the uh, expense. And on top of that, uh, your athletics checks are very crappy, so you ended up causing more damage to Doug. Oops. So, the surgical Oops. expenses are going to cost Doug $110,000 and $40,000 for the treatment, treat, uh, not Stella, uh, treatment of uh, JL. Yes. Ouch. I was talking about Stella, uh, Stella when I was supposed to talk about JL. So yeah, Jail is gonna cost forty thousand. Stella is gonna cost ten thousand. Doug is gonna cost hundred and ten thousand, and Dan Junior is going to cost um, ten thousand. You only had minor pathogens, but you had a previous one going. So okay, what about Doug? Mac. I mean, not Doug. Mac. 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 Right. Right. Mac. You also had a previous previous one, but. Somehow, somehow your symptoms are like almost gone. No, wait. Uh, the, the, like, you have antibodies in your system? So, they are willing to pay for a blood, a blood sample. $50,000. It's like Max just going in his like, thickest Scottish brogue. He's just going, yeah, those midges All right. came across worse. That, somebody, somebody comes in, uh, comes in with it. Uh, with, with one of those <laughs> two gallon jars I, I, there. And I, like, I, I just go, all right, let's hook you in. I, <laughs> I said a sample. Yeah. A sample. The contact says like, you I agreed said... to give five liters. Yes, you said sample. <laughs> they heard Sam pool, and they're filling yeah. up a pool with your blood. Um, you you do do you realize that if you took all that blood, he's gonna die. <laughs> oh, we're gonna give him replacement blood, but we just want his blood out, and we put the new blood in at the same time. So, a dialysis machine, basically. So the... They're just gonna exchange your blood for the new one. They just want as much sample as they can get. Right. You get HBO on that TV there? <laughs> no, hey. but we got the cable. Get it up. Get the TV up. <laughs> we, we got cable and 58 kilobyte internet. I don't care about the internet. Bring up the cable, man. Yeah, right now. <clears throat> oh yeah, it's the Doug who uh, who who is next door. Like, ah oh, yeah, fifty eight kilowatts. Mm, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> I already took the ten k off my inventory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so after the um, medical actually, hmm? actually, <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not going there. I'm actually. Okay. I was gonna say, actually, I don't have money. I thought you was given like a million. <laughs> don't say that. Don't say that. But Yikes. ten thousand. Yeah. Just let the mosquitoes eat him. <laughs> I'll just do this. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. D Doug, Doug Peterson. He's handling all my accounts. Bill it to him. <laughs> Bill it to the company account. <laughs> yeah. 
That's why you have one. It was a company expense. It's not like I did it on my own time. No, exactly. And I mean, we, we of course, took injury while we were saving the CEO's life there, the company and, director. And, and, and now that I think about it, <laughs> it's an on-the-job <laughs> injury. Mm -hmm. so, so surely that's compensation there. I want to <laughs> remind everybody that we're in a, what's it, the work by, uh, work by real estate? Oh, damn, what's it called? I could fight you anytime I want. Oh, uh, fire at will. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, work, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, work at will really work. means fire at will. Well, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's it's depression. Exactly what it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and But I think Mac has actually pointed out, yeah, you know that fire at will. I will fire at Doug. <laughs> <laughs> at will. <laughs> I fired at John enough. So what are you suggesting uh, that we're doing post op financing finances? Yes, you no, also already, probably want paid. your rewards. Yes. yes. Yeah. So I already paid for mine. So, so Stargate Corporation is very glad about these new in innovative weapon systems you brought them. Mm -hmm. They will pay you a hundred thousand smackaroonies for them. A piece, awesome. No, all of, for all of them. Uh, are um, we just are we just talking about nope. the sap guns? Or are we talking so about yes. the rope? That's fine. I'm, I'm keeping mine. Thanks. Yeah, I'm keeping my Zach. Don't care about the money. Unfortunately, <laughs> the contract over here states they have the right to requisition any and all alien technology mm -hmm. that they have an interest um, in. Or a fair market price. We don't have to deliver. <laughs> no, the question, no. Our, our mission was to go and check out the place, make contact, and come back about the contact. It said nothing. No, it's it's our general our, order. our general it's orders are general. Our general contract says if you're in other missions you come across alien technology and bring it back, yeah, we make call dibs. You will be compensated for said dibs. But if you do not want to say dibs, in, in, in we've our, got the our, guns. Uh, in, our, in our universe, corporations win at everything. Our lawyers can't fight their lawyers. <laughs> their lawyers are much more expensive than ours. <laughs> Actually, um, our much. lawyers are their lawyers. They, they kind of screwed us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they did. <laughs> that was funny. It's like, but all of me, how good of a gun do you have? Oh, okay. <laughs> Doug was in charge of, <laughs> charge of that. You gonna go back to see your girlfriend afterwards, there, Doug? What girlfriend? She ran away. She, that's the one that, that got away. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Liar, liar, pants on fire. <laughs> okay, so basically, I, I gave 10,000. What but else did you I manage to bring back? So here's back. what we brought back. The photo vet. I'm sorry, I interrupted you. Go ahead. So I get I, I already paid the ten thousand from my my money. Mm -hmm. sure that's so I still get that's twenty back. Twenty five. What? Charge the ten K to the corporation to me to I'll, the company fund will pay for it. Oh, yeah. okay. I like that even better. No, it's that's that's a good rule. This way, my hundred and ten k goes. Ah, ah, that's <laughs> why. <laughs> I'm being very generous. Uh, that's why. This, this, why. this is how the corporate system works. You charge everything to the company, so nobody isn't personally liable for anything. So, so you're paying for my ten k as well, there, uh, Doug. Whatever medical expenses were needed, it goes from okay. the company fund. I dare get the feeling he's then going to suddenly claim the 50 k that's, that why, I that's why I'm putting... That's why I'm putting... It's actually going into company there. funds. Yeah, yeah all, all of these are going as, uh, as, as mission expenses. <laughs> to the IRS for and, tax redemption. Oh, it gets to be <laughs> offset against the company. Tax did walk to those. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, once I calculate everything, we end up turning a profit. <laughs> no, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> yeah. So what else did you bring back than uh, the Zed guns? We 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 brought First some. Vehicle, so we got the uh, photographic evidence of it. We brought back a full body, a full body in a coffin, what has all of their armor and has that helmet, a uh, helmet HUD. Oh yeah, the helmet HUD is new. That's uh, that's another hundred k. Um, and, uh, did we did we bring back Gabriel or no? Uh, I I do believe you left those behind. All right, but you established that there is primitives, but the primitives themselves don't have access to anything, any advanced technology that you know of. Uh, so... The analysis of all the data that was in the tree. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. I think also uh, the the location of where they will find the remains of that robot. That if they were able to send a team quickly enough, they might be able to secure it with full bug protection. Yeah, <laughs> we do warn them about that. Right. Okay. Uh, that that than that. Um, yeah. You are gonna you get extra fifty thousand because they they do have to send a recovery team for the rest of them. No, no, so. we can appreciate that. So the, de so like the we information really the data is fifty fifty k extra. Yeah. All right, so total it's 250k gain from the mission. Yep, that's good. And uh, access to maybe once research is done with it, we'll have access to some new research. Yeah, R and D is currently going through your zeggans. And this R and D is also good for corpo. Indeed. Mm. So, I Should do believe we uh, do the patent rights for these. Bit me the quality while still I still gone. Well, that's what you get when you walk away, image breathing. Hmm? Stella. <laughs> ah, so anyway, uh, let's put some bandit daggers, uh, dags at least. Where is it? There. Actually, uh, Doug, it was ten k for Stella. Yes, ten k. It was. 10k for Stella. Stella, 10 yes, for me. Jael. So, apparently Jael is still a virgin. Yes. According according to Fox, kind of. Yes, she is. That is why she went on the tree. I don't think this Which, has changed. Did we talk about that? I don't know. Did, did we? You? Did we tell them about that, by the way, that the, the tree was the scanner? Yeah, for yes. The other yeah. yes. That's I'm how sorry. we're getting some extra money. Yeah, we got how a total of 250k that's going to the group fund. Just going to go to the corporate account to cover the expenses he cost. So next time when I say, let's go, we go. Because there was <laughs> nothing to gain from... I don't know. We found uh, out about the, the the electronics, you know, that the mechanical robot? spider. Mm -hmm. I'll, yeah, I'll the be, robot. The I'll robot be honest. I I did watch fifty thousand in fifty thousand in burnt parts, and cost us about one hundred fifty thousand in medical expenses. Yeah, don't give me a, a, but the, you're alive. Yeah. I would have been You're alive welcome. if we'd left, we wouldn't have bought it. So. No, no, no. Right. This is my take because I, while I wasn't playing, I did watch it from bed, right? And I think there is... A virginity a, scanner. The, my, <laughs> my actual take on it was I actually felt that there was still more of a story there. Yeah. So that the idea that just leaving there was okay yes the characters could have left but at the same time i felt like it it wasn't screaming to me oh it felt like everything. no it felt like you were you were just leaving after like the initial we're, first act something something was there was a nagging feeling like we're leaving we're forgetting something like they were leaving it's, something behind and i think and then the other can i think the other issue was 
yet uh, last session there ended up being a wee bit of arguing about too much about you know meta you know what we were using knowledge from what we know from the shows to inform what our act what your actions would be and and that to be when... fair to be fair we 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 hadn't been we've been gone for we haven't played in so long we can't remember what's what yeah uh, and i think i think that was where you know it's maybe we're just needing mr to either step in and say actually you know this as players from the show but this is what your characters know okay yeah fam. And froggy froggy's right we did not find the tears of raw you didn't these were the big treasure of the ma- uh, of the of the map, mm-hmm. but you did not find them. Mm-hmm. But sometimes you just get too wounded to go on deeper yeah. into the dungeon. Do we go back? <laughs> oh no! Next session is next session. Yeah. Next session oh, is a new adventure. Can, can you imagine? Because uh, next they're gonna the send the Bravo team and they're gonna find the tears of wrath. <laughs> Problem was that I got stabbed by a by a fucking spider and got over damaged. And like, well, well yeah. nothing I can do about that. Um, I'm dead, basically. Speaking of next game, mm-hmm. are we meeting next week? I'm good. No, I should be good. I uh, don't have anything in my. Are calendar, you not? I'm not. Uh, okay. So you're not good. Oh, you know what? It's uh, July Fourth weekend. Oh yeah! Oh so, right! Yeah. All you Americans are gonna do something, something on that. So. It's actually Canada Day. Okay, on let's let's have let's have Not the session off that, for but... the Canada Day. All right. Yeah, let's have a session off. Yeah, yeah. We, 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 uh, we'll be off for Canada, Canada Day uh-huh. and do something. Not, know. but not for July Fourth. Yeah, we of don't course. we don't respect the Yankees that much. I mean, Although, why, 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 why would, would we the celebrate Traitor's Day? Why? That would that would be the <laughs> why? Tuesday, Tuesday game would be July fourth. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Tuesday but, game. You know, most people take that Monday off, yeah. and they have a long weekend. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But, yeah. But, but but I'm 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 saying yeah, we don't we don't support grand treason over here. No, I'm serious. <laughs> I'm British. We do not celebrate Traitor's Day. You're Scottish and you're actually saying you're British? Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Now you're a traitor to Scotland. No. Last time I checked, 55% of us said no to the independence vote. So, and even <clears> then, <throat> say actually, 45 is not even 45% of the nation. All Scots are British, whether or, whether or oh, not yeah. they leave the United Kingdoms. Yeah. Scotland's because Britain the British is the are. island. Yeah. It's it's like the Irish are not Irish because they live in Ireland. <laughs> it's not the tea, it's the taxes on the tea that did the whole thing. Ah, uh, that there's a whole lot of bit American history that Americans kind of forget about because all that taxation was due to wars that the Americans started and that was to pay for the troops that had to be stationed there. To protect the Americans from the French that the Americans have <laughs> actually started the war with. Yeah. So it, it's a kind of catch-22. It's, don't get me wrong. I can understand the basic principle. Yes, they're right. There was no... They didn't have a right to say, to say about it. But what you've got to remember is at the same time... They did that, have representation. They were British citizens and they had British Parliament. Mm-hmm. And they had representation in British Parliament. And you got to okay. remember, all those men who signed that Declaration of Independence were all the landowners. It's sure. the same with the Declaration of Land Bro- or Broth um, and in the Scottish Wars of Independence. It's not about the common man. No, it's all about the landowners. They just didn't want to answer to England. It's them saying, we just want to, it's all about who has power. It was just, it was a power grab there. You know, it's, they just took, they were able to just turn enough resentment against certain (laughs) things. You're right, Froggy. (laughs) Well, it's not just about US history. It's also British history because someone actually, the Americans keep talking about how they beat us and then they kind of forget the reason why they have a White House 
is the War of 1812, where they tried to take Canada, didn't. They burnt Toronto. Uh, it's took. It's the only uh, British colours that's ever been taken by the enemy and never retrieved. They took the colours from the capital of Canada at the time. So what happened? The uh, British Army and Canadian loyalists marched on Washington and burnt, burnt out the White it, House and burnt yeah. it to the ground. The White House is white and then the because it's white. It, and now it's the White House. It's whitewash from the bar marks. So you can thank us for the tourism landmark and, that you have. And, <laughs> and that war is where our national anthem comes from. Mm -hmm. The War of 1812 is yep. talking about that specific war. Uh, mm -hmm. Francis Scott Key is talking about the War of 1812 and not the American Revolution. Yeah. So we, you can actually thank Britain because we have probably... Thank you, Britain. Uh, yeah. We have given you more... <laughs> This is a, it's, it's a weird <laughs> yes, thing. We <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I have, I just so, know random shit. Yeah. Random shit operation terminated. We yeah. shall okay. proceed immediately with the, the usual. Shit. The operation bonus nachos. Bonus operation nachos, bonus nachos, y'all. Mm -hmm. Have a good one.